Hello, I'm Professor Rosen, and today's lesson is about subtracting fractions. And we're going to look at the case when we have to borrow. Let's take a look. So let's say if we have 23 and 1 eighth. Minus 19 and say what? Uh, 5 twelfths. Now, whenever we add and subtract fractions, we need to find what class? Common denominator. Okay. What's the common denominator between 8 and 12, the lowest one? We use 12. 24. 24, because 8 and 12 both go into 24. Right. Now, I'm going to be showing you a method where you stay in mixed number form. A common way that's taught is you turn these into improper fractions, but that, uh, that takes a lot of much more time, especially during a time test when you have big mixed numbers. So let's set up our common denominator. And again, class, what's the common denominator? 24. 24. And 8 goes into 24 how many times? 3. Times 3. And what we do to the bottom, we do to the top. top. And 1 times 3 is? 4. 3. Oh, three. Multiply 3. Good. And 12 goes into 24 by? 2. 2. two. You can't subtract, uh, what, so 12 times 2, and then? 5 times 2. Well, you do to the bottom, you do to the? Top. Top. Uh, with more spirit, what we do to the bottom, we do to the? Top. Top. And 5 times 2 is? 10. 10. Okay. Now, we can't subtract 10 from 3. So we need to borrow the whole from the 23, 23 which now makes it 22. 22. 22. Now, we're in base 24, so that means every whole that we borrow, it's that many, it's that many pieces. So one whole is 24, 24. out of 24 Three. that we add to the 3, Three out mm -hmm. of 24 to now make... 27. 27 out of 24. And let's just wrap it up. And now out of 24, 27 minus 10 is? 17. 17. Now 22. Minus 19 is? 3. 3. Can this fraction be reduced? No. No. And again, you borrow one from the 23 to make it a 22. 22. And every hole that we borrowed is 24 parts that we added to the 3 to make 27. 27. 